I didn't see you there. Hey, this is Meta, and this is the drawing show where I talk about everything besides the drawing itself. <sighs> Today we are going to be randomizing a color palette. And I'm really sorry that I forgot to stream last Thursday. <laughs> but we'll make it up to you guys. There's so many different websites to use, but I'm gonna go with. I'm not using colors uh, with two O's because that's a lot of. There's a lot of ads on there, and I kind of want to keep this like as usable as possible, I guess. I'm not too sure what I want <coughs> what I want to actually draw today. I'm thinking one of my OCs, because uh it's way more fun. Well, it it's not way more fun. I just have a certain soft spot for them. Maybe I'll make a, a Kyle drawing. Not too sure. We'll see how the color palette works out for us. Oh, we can also uh, choose how many how many colors we get to pick. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> it's outside my room. I should know this, but whatever. Franker's jump scare. I'm scared tonight. I should get some soundproof thing for my fucking room, huh? That would be nice. Uh, let's see. Who would you want to see me draw? Uh, hello guys. Hello, Morrow. <laughs> well, since we're basically all here, we can probably start with the... Uh,
What would you like to draw? I don't, I don't. Mm. I'm probably just gonna draw one of my OCs with this. Hmm. Draw Dylan, but with different shape, with different palette, perhaps. Yeah, Dylan's fun to draw. I could do that. All right, let's try this out. Uh -huh. So this is our setup here. How many, uh, this is actually a good palette for, for, uh, Dylan right here, actually. But how many, how many colors do you want, chat? Because we can, because we can work with, uh, the five that they give us. Why am I rumbling? I don't f Bro, why am I rumbling? Ah, uh, bro. Uh, I was just... I was just rumbling, I guess. I don't know. I was just feeling rumbly. Uh, let's see. 37? Oh, perfect. Can I put... Can I put 37 on there? Oh boy, <laughs> yeah, I'm working. I'm bring it. <laughs> yeah, this is the color palette we're working with. Chat. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I'm not fucking doing that, man. Oh, this would be fun, I think. Um. How you feeling about these ones, Chad? Cause I could make him like a... What's it called? I can make him like his boyfriend. The fruit colors. Huh? Anyway. I wish that I could directly put it in there, but, uh, let's see. Just for the time being. I guess these are the colors we're going to use, chat. <laughs> it's mostly just for fun, after all, so... I've been actually working on a Dylan ref, uh, so you don't see color? Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe you've been watching for this long, Mara. Uh, I can't believe Mara's colorblind. It's crazy. I guess that explains why you enjoy Vega art so much. 
you've solved racism. <laughs> I think maybe I'll- Colton got the joke. I- I got the joke too, buddy, but it was funny. I- uh, I don't know. Oh. N- uh, No. Uh. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give Dylan more of a cloudy appearance to his jacket because I think it'd be fun. Shout out to the one Kyle fan in all of existence. I don't know who you are. I don't know why you picked that guy, but, you know. <laughs> Go. I'm glad that you're happy. I'm glad that you have a specific taste in characters and that's totally fine. I didn't actually make Kyle like purposely unlikable, but it's but he's just like less interesting, I guess. I'm having fun with the comics and stuff like that, so that'll be something. Once I get the four fun comics out of the way, I might actually start, you know, actually doing something with <laughs> like the stuff that I've got planned out or whatever, but it, it can also just be funny. Funny haha. Out of curiosity, who did you pick on the poll? Because it's always interesting to like hear or like like see the reasons why people enjoy certain characters or whatever. Uh, I haven't totally gone like gone into super detailed depth with like you guys about it. Also, congratulations to Gabe for winning. Despite the fact that I can barely spell his full name correctly. Uh, so he's just forever Gabe. I can rant about the, fucking, the awful fucking burger I had the other day. But... I want to say that. <sighs> Pose. <laughs> I voted for a uh, deal on, I think. Was it because he was the first choice, or is it because he actually liked? Oh wait, no, I remember you specifically asking who um, the white-haired character with the fluffy jacket was. I didn't vote Democ democracy is a farce. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I can't believe that Maro <laughs> hates democracy. <laughs> uh, who would it <laughs> Would you have actually picked anyone, or is it just because you don't know him too well?
Also, please stop fighting in my comment section. <laughs> yeah, they never done that, no. It's funny, but no. I've gotten a good idea for everyone's voices except for the didn't know them felt shitty not to to vote for a random one since the number of votes was was not too high when I saw it. Yeah. You tend to get you tend to be late on voting for polls anyhow. Even for stuff that you would know by heart. Anyway. The OCs... So, like, the poll was about my OCs. Uh, this one's Dylan. The other one... The greaser-looking one with the hair like this and the big grin like this is Gabe and the one ref that I posted today was Kyle <laughs> we got a decent amount of votes by the time the poll ended which made me happy. Uh, anyway. The only character that I don't have, like, a specific voice in mind for is, uh, is Gabe. Despite the fact that, like, you know kind of how greasers talk, at least in movies you do, and, and he'd have like a, like a gruff sort of Chicago accent, but other than that I don't know what I would actually, uh, like how he would actually truly sound. Uh, recently I figured out what Kyle's voice sounded like, because I was like, it's like more normal like what's his name have them speak like cool Jimmy Neutron <laughs> I remember the episode, but I can't remember how cool Jimmy fucking talked. <laughs> uh, but... Yeah. <sighs> Looks like it couldn't handle the neutron style. It's, okay, yeah. I was like, he should sound kind of like a more normal Steven uh, Horvitz or whatever, but then I was like, no, that's not true. Because I was thinking of uh, Raz from uh, Psychonauts at the time, but I was like, he, he shouldn't really sound like he's like a child in any case, and he, he doesn't have that raspy of a voice, and then I was like, you know what actually fits perfectly? Uh, Lee Winnell from the first Saw movie, uh, playing Adam Stanheit. Uh, like, his level of, like, Dr like anger and drowned ratness really helps. <laughs> yep, we're going with green green Dylan tonight. 
and we're actually talking about voice claims right now, because I think they're a cool concept. I mean, it's, it's a comic and everyone's going to read their, like, characters in the voice that they think they'd sound like or whatever, you know? But I was trying to figure out Kyle's voice the other day, and I realized that, um, like, Lee Winnell from the first Saw movie, when he's playing Adam Stanhyde, was a perfect fit for, like, the, like, angry, but, like, really kind of pathetic kind of character that Kyle is as, like, to his core, you know? Uh, anyway, I've got the lock on, uh, like, Dylan's voice for, like, ages now. Make him mute and draw 50... 75 panels with sign language solved. Perfect. Why didn't I think of that? I just have to learn sign language first. I mean, I really think that schools should teach it, like, already, because I feel like it's just kind of a public service. But... Learning a language is hard, and I'm lazy. Uh, let's see. Anyway, Dylan's voice claim that, like, always stuck into my head was, um, so do you know the movie, uh, Heather's? It's fine if you don't, but it's, it's uh, also a m musical, but I'm talking specifically about the movie. Uh, the character that, like, in my head forever will sound like Dylan is, is uh, JD from the movie. Because JD, Jason Dean in the musical, is way too... has way too much body like, in his voice, whereas Dylan's a much more soft-spoken kind of character. He's cheerful, but, like, the way that he talks is soft. He, he's not actually that shy as a character. Alright. So, even though I really do like how most JDs do uh, the songs in <laughs> in the Heather's musical or whatever, Maro, you're playing Alien Swarm right now. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I can see movie JD fitting on him. Like. Uh, like, he's not movie JD as a character, because he's not a- he's not a stalker. <laughs> I can- you are my Steam friend, Maro. I can see what you are playing in this very second. <laughs> it's funny. Though, I can understand wanting to be, like, tabbed out and, like, you're playing, a, like, a video game in the background. Understandable. Don't don't worry. Don't worry that bad way about it, yeah. Uh let's see. Would Dylan enjoy musicals? Um Yeah, I usually play stuff in the background of Steam. Yeah, like... I like playing music while I'm, like, doing stuff. It's just nice. Um, and I like watching content while I'm drawing. So, like, the music's there for me. Like, nothing like singing musical se- Nothing like singing musical theater songs with your family, after all. Well, I don't think that in life Dylan would ever 
actually be able to have gone to a musical. Uh, and I don't think he would learn about them, like, for a bit, because, I mean, like, he technically comes back to society, as it were, in the 70s, uh, and, so he knows a lot about disco, I guess. He still says groovy. Uh. <laughs> to give you reference. Um. Like. I feel like he'd enjoy it the most out of. Uh. The cast of characters. Because. Kyle would be a little bit too antsy to sit down for an entire thing. He's much more. He likes. Either methodical tasks or ones that are over quick. Uh, but let's see. Uh, like, I feel like Gabe would enjoy certain musicals, but. He'd also pretend like he didn't like them because he wants to seem cool. He pretends that he knows how computer work, like how computers work, because he likes to appear as if he's like young and hip. Because I mean, technically, he died when he was young, uh, so like he he just wants to like still feel that way, you know? He doesn't want to feel like, uh, like people have moved on from him and what happened to him, that kind of thing. Is it- it's a, a, a ghost? <laughs> Ghost lore. <laughs> I can use the white of the page. I feel like that's fine. <laughs> mm. Nice bit of character for him. Yeah, I am like. It's a. I I feel like there's so much you can do with ghosts as characters besides just making them like, ooh, oh my god, it's so scary, there's a ghost in my house. You sure know how those communi- those computer machines work. It's funny because Dylan technically knows how to do stuff better than- <laughs> than Gabe does. Like in the 90s he found a flip phone and so he knows- he knows very basic things about it. Though, he doesn't have the same, like... He doesn't know what memes are, he would be confused at the internet in general. Like, what What do you mean? Huh? Stuff like that, you know? And... Dylan doesn't really have that much... Like, out of the characters, Dylan has, like, the least amount of shame. Out of the entire cast, he does not care. He just, you know, wants people to do well, kind of stuff. 
噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔。Giggling at a pop dart meme falling down vine boom and Dylan looking at him with concern. Yeah, that sounds about correct. <laughs> like, what? This isn't even funny. What? <laughs> Dylan's like, oh, um, where's the, where's the joke? <laughs> where's the joke? And, you know, Dylan's just not, like, equipped to deal with meme culture in, in general. Or really anything that the internet has to offer. Though, Gabe desperately, desperately wants to. And he tends to try and explain that. <laughs> this selection of colors reminds me of the GBA color playing GBA games where you could choose the color palette at when at the start of the game. Trippy as fuck. <laughs> nice. It's kind of like if I gave Gabe's palette to to Dylan. Gabe would try and explain the meme using all his reasonings, but he's not really any better at explaining it than Dylan is at understanding it. Because Gabe doesn't actually understand it either. So it's just the blind leading the blind, and Dylan's like, oh, I think I understand now. Anyway, someone teaches them how to use a computer and it's all over from there. Especially when they discover that they can figure out his things. Show Dylan the explanation versions of mine. <laughs> Memes like King Box, let me get a mint. <laughs> I feel like Dylan would immediately understand once getting like those like explanation things. <laughs> it would be really fucking funny. <laughs> He'd start to understand. Oh, okay. So that's the joke. He still, like, isn't really too sure why, like, people find this funny. But also, for the record, they are not boomers. Let me get that on the mic. They get to the computer and forget to turn on the mic for 45 minutes. Oh, I wonder what that sounds like. Um, uh, so, so that's why... Why... Ah, so that's why it was a part of the best memes, best vines, haha, 2017. <laughs> like, uh, since they're ghosts, they can hide whenever Kyle uses his password to log into his computer, you know? So, eventually, they just memorize the, the password and they figure and then they have to like start asking Kyle about his search history results like Kyle K 
car will... What does pipe falling sound effect mean? Why are you looking this up? Are you okay? <laughs> the first one he would chuckle <laughs> by himself. He would... Yes, he would chuckle at the only a spoonful joke. I don't, like, you can't consider yourself a human if you don't. But, yes, only a spoonful. <laughs> Like, he understands that- he understands the joke. He understands the joke. <laughs> Watch his ASMR videos lose his mind. <laughs> the fuck is going on in the why are they just eating on camera huh let's see I believe that like the birth dates that I set for them makes them be born during uh, Gen X, I believe. So that's a fun bit of lore. I don't know. They'd be like, if they actually got to live their lives, they'd be like pretty old, but they wouldn't be like total geezers. After war. Oh, also, it's funny, uh, but, um... So, I don't know how to tell you this without being, like, having it not be ridiculous. Uh, but... Dylan doesn't know that JFK got assassinated. Like, he was... He died just before that happened and missed all the news coverage during the time. So he was like, oh, I guess we've got a new president now. That's interesting. <laughs> he does not, he does not understand what happened. He, so like JFK died in, I believe, 1964 and Dylan died 1963 so yeah um and he spent a good long while just trying to find his way out of the fucking woods so yes uh <laughs> odd 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 history trivia for you, I guess. Oh, also, uh... The comic takes place... <laughs> it's in Minnesota. Uh, but... Both Dylan and... Uh, Gabe are from out of the state. Not me, though. He lacks critical information. <laughs> he does. <laughs> He's just like, I wonder how the rest of his presidency went. It's so crazy that he like, was so young and like cool. Like he was such a cool president, guys. <laughs> I wonder how people remember him. <laughs> Awful, awful. <laughs> but like, yeah, you, you'd miss quite a bit of stuff from that, you know. <laughs> Let's 
So, yeah. Uh, let's see. He... Met, like, uh, he met Gabe in the 70s. Also, Gabe is confined to... Who is... <laughs> One problem <laughs> with that meta history <laughs> and say that JFK wasn't assassinated. His head just did that, like, normally, I swear. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, where did you get your history book from? The CIA? <laughs> just asking. You know, it's friendly asking. <laughs> he saw Lone Eye and believed everyone was real. Wow, I can't believe that Jesus was real guy. <laughs> Probably was. <laughs> I don't know. I can't prove that. He's so silly, you guys. think that he would have consumed media for a very 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 long time until he started actually haunting houses and like the only reason why he like moves from place to place is because um, Gabe's painting goes up for auction quite a bit and he decides to move with Gabe whenever that happens because I mean like what is he gonna do just abandon his fucking boyfriend no he's good he's good like that basically everyone thinks that like Gabe is like a cursed painting of some nature and they're like half right I guess So yeah, the a fun bit of uh, trivia is that, uh, like, you know how you can cover a painting or whatever and you can, like, wrap it up and stuff? Well, if you do the same, you like, Gabe just cannot leave the painting. Because, I mean, it's his portal to the outside world, essentially. So, yeah, that's fun. Most normal ghosts have something similar to that. Gabe got the... <laughs> well, they be in Luigi's Mansion 4. <laughs> Boy, I sure hope so. Though, I don't really... Like, I don't know what a bunch of... Like, weird gay ghosts would be doing. Up in Luigi's business, but... It would be really funny. Gabe got the goddamn shadow cannon fight. <laughs> Gabe's just going through it, man. Okay? Like, he's just... Basically, the, like, more powerful a specter is, the more freedom they have in the afterlife, essentially. So, like, some ghosts can't even, like, interact with objects or maintain a form that 
like remotely looks like them. Like uh, Dylan's a pretty perfect recreation of how he looked when he died, whereas uh, Gabe looks just a slight bit different from the way that he died. Uh, so that's a fun bit of things. The ghost from paintings like Luigi's Mansion 1. Them portrait ghosts are really fun. They're really fun boss battles. I honestly want to know, like, the exact lore of the house and, like, what their lives were like when they were alive and that kind of stuff. Louis' mansion is really fun. Like that. Though I don't really understand Gooigi. Because he's, like, a completely different person from Luigi, essentially. Strange stuff. I like it, though. This is just Gooigi. <laughs> Dylan. Let's see. But, yeah, uh, one sec. Some ghosts can't even interact with living beings and need proxies to do them for them. Like, like uh, some lower ranked ghosts can't even pet dogs or whatever and so have to use like objects in the environment to do it for them, essentially. So like, uh, sometimes you'll just see like a floating hairbrush petting your dog. And that's because the ghost itself can't, in fact, pet the dog itself. But, like, it's a really cute dog and it deserves love. Literally, they have no <laughs> Sad. I think Gooigi might be a reference to the Super Mario Super Show back then. What do you mean it's a reference to the Super Mario Super Show? <laughs> I don't remember an episode where Luigi was gooey and green, but it's been a while. It's been a while since since, this, since I've watched the Super Show. Uh, but that's sad. There was a construct from the booth entirely. The paintings have nothing to do with it. Just They're just separate paintings owned by Egad. They just killed around element when King Boo did <laughs> out. What is the dog doing? Let's see. Uh, also, everyone can see ghosts. It's just that uh, most ghosts uh, are either like partially invisible or don't like being spotted. Because, I mean, like, you don't really enjoy being yelled at in the face, that kind of thing. So most ghosts tend to just be invisible and go about their routines if another person's living with them. And they just try and be as quiet as possible. But Gabe said, fuck no. I'm different, bitch. I want to <laughs> scare the shit out of anyone that buys this painting from me. I believe in no ghost. <laughs> Well, there was an episode where Luigi was attacked sludge, possessed by a goo monster, and Mario called one over over one of the Ghostbuster actors to help get rid of the goo boy. Was this the- Are you telling me that this was, like, in the live action segment of the show? Like, because <laughs> that's really fucking funny. Honestly, they should bring. <laughs> uh, Captain Lou Albano is a fucking legend, and I enjoy. Like he is live action Mario to me. Uh, let's see. Uh. 
Oh, also, cats and dogs can see ghosts even when they're invisible, so. Uh, like. That's the explanation for, like, if you see a f like that kind of thing. A friend gifted me phasmophobia and guilt tripped me to play it. it. Sometimes, boy, I don't really see the appeal. I'm not a big fan of phasmophobia either, to be quite honest. It's, it's not even, like, it's much more fun when content creators just disregard the entire plot and just fucking do whatever the fuck they're doing or whatever. Like, one time, um, I saw a video where it was just them pretending to be real estate agents and being like, this place is not haunted. <laughs> and it was like one of those awful ghost reality shows. I should talk, I should probably add some ghost reality show nonsense into the, into the fucking plot of this, because they are bizarre, and I, I love and hate the <laughs> ground that they walk on. It is a very, very strange, they are very strange creatures. Like, Mario, you probably don't have the context of what I'm actually even referring to, but, like, there's these ghost hunter shows where they're like, Tonight, we're going to get something really scary on camera. But you'll see will haunt you for the rest of your life. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. I want Gabe to watch one of those shows and be like, Oh my god, I think I have a chance. Because th the main thing that Gabe wants to do is like be like recognized, essentially. So something like this would be his like big brain. <laughs> yeah, I only <laughs> no. Because I only know him because South Park made fun of him. It's the gayest show in the world. It was really funny. Like, and it's not even like totally, it's not like that hyperbolic either. That's just how these shows are. Like, they're the, like, they're just so fucking out there. I don't understand how much meth these producers are smoking before they, like, put these guys on set and they're like, all right, guys, go run off and uh, find ghosts, I guess. Because it is, like, insane. I'm like, what the f- You should not be hyped for, like, <laughs> this shit. I survived my deadly encounter with a really gay ghost. This ghost tried to kiss me. <laughs> American reality shows are something else. Yeah, they really are. Even stuff that's like meant to be like less like totally batshit insane, like Survivor is still like like weirdly competitive. Like what the fuck? <laughs> It's not about surviving an island, it's in fact a reality show where every chance <laughs> it's just like a bunch of people trying to deceive other people. And I find like the social politics in that game like really really interesting because it's just a bunch of people that are like, okay guys, I want that Millie and I will do anything to get it, Inclu including lying straight to your fucking face. And it is great. It is great TV. 90% of the media I consume daily is probably American stuff, movies, games, etc. But every time I take a glimpse of that, <laughs> those reality shows, they are <laughs> narrated like they're real fucking shit. I cringe so hard. 
it is it is really fuck it is both really cringy but i just find it funny mostly because of the amount of sound effects that are in each one and it's you know it's just like an acquired taste i guess because I don't actually care about it, and I don't think it's real in the slightest. It's not. It's <laughs> on reality TV at its finest. It's just. I find it way more fun than watching a sitcom. Though certain certain shows I cannot watch because they just they feel so awful to me. Like not like I can't stand any of the dating ones to be quite fair like 90 day fiance is the big one where i just can't i'm just like like these people do not want to be in a relationship with one another they are just here for either tv fame or their green card and respect to both but like oh my god it is a nightmare nightmare because a lot of the contestants that are like the lonely men that like hook up with these people are like wow I know that she just loves me and we'll get married and it'll be beautiful but you know eh. it's, just, it's just not for me but I I have a real soft spot for uh, cooking reality shows. Uh, mostly because, for the most part, they're actually doing something and, you know, like, it's not really scripted either. They just go and they're like, okay, guys, so we're just gonna ca catch all the times you fuck up cooking this recipe on camera and that'll be, and that'll be the thing. Like, I, I love, I love me like not I like chopped I like a lot of Gordon Ramsay stuff uh let's see <laughs> the fucking bass is fucking raw um I like um also bar rescue it's not exactly cooking show a uh, cooking show but it's close it's enough and I, I think it's also just because I'm like, fuck yeah. I know exactly the kind of people that they're taking down. And it feels nice. Especially when you're in that kind of business or whatever. I don't need reality TV when I have the H3 boss podcast. So much goofy stuff there. I like the chocolate show where it's hosted by the cho that chocolate guy from Tumblr. I... <laughs> What? I think I know who you're talking about. Uh, Ron Ben Israel, I think. Uh, in the show Sweet Genius. That's a really good show. But I'm also not sure if you're talking about that. I I'm also not sure if you're talking about Sweet Genius or not. Anyway, I'm gonna go fill up my water chat. Uh, and when we come back, uh, we'll be continuing this reality TV discussion, I guess. Uh, so, let's go.
All right, I'm back, chat. So let's see. So let me see, because I don't know who you're talking about, actually. Would, oh, <laughs> he had a reality show. Hello. No, it's the fish from SpongeBob. Welcome back. Thank you, guys. Continue with the drawing, shall we? God damn it. Oh, speaking of food, by the way, I have to tell you about the worst burger I've ever fucking had in my entire goddamn life. I, I didn't even know that you could fuck up a burger this badly, but it, it's true, Chad. I... Like, I'm still thinking about it, and it's been, like, over a week since I've had it. That's how awful it was. Like, it was life-changing to me. I never thought that you could, like, physically fuck up a burger besides, like, overcooking it or undercooking it or whatever, you know? But, no. No. Um, it was affectionately nicknamed the Burgoid by my coworker, so shout outs to them. Uh, they also fucked up my cheesecake and milkshake, but we're not at that section yet. Um, so, like, w first of all, they fucked up my order because I just wanted a plain one and they brought it out with cheese the first time so I had to wait like an extra few seconds for my burger right well it was more like a few like it was like 30 minutes that I had to wait for this thing this monstrosity that came out but what arrived I it was just such a bizarre I don't know exactly what the fuck they brought me I think they were trying to make a burger. Um, anyway, I smelled it and it smelled kind of like, um, you know, one of those beef sausage patties or whatever that you buy frozen at the store. It, it didn't look like ground meat. It looked like I'm pretty sure they gave me like a frozen sausage patty that they microwaved. It tasted like nothing, so I can't really be sure, but it's real strange. <laughs> oh, also, here's it's another interesting fact about it, right? So, the bun itself, the top of it was, like, fr like it was freezing cold. Like, frozen solid at the top of it. The burger itself was scorching hot. And the bottom was completely soggy as well. I think what they might have done is they put all of the things together. And, uh, like, my I think what they did is that they stacked everything together and microwaved it as a whole. So that everything would come, like, quote-unquote hot or whatever. For serving or whatever. But that's only a rough guess. It's because I'm not sh too sure how otherwise you would get such a microwaved texture or whatever. <laughs> this, it's not even common. I, this is the first time I've ever experienced this. And that, like, that is crazy to me. Like, I had never, ever gotten a burger this bad before. Like, 
Sure, I've had a lot of mid burgers before, but they were alright. They were fine. I said, okay, yeah, this is a fine burger. I'll eat this. But I... It was just... It was just rough. Moral of the story, eat an apple. Yeah, no, that's not even the, like, worst part of it, I guess. So, next up was, um, my milkshake. Because, well, it arrived first. And I'm not even, like, it is beyond me how they fucked up a milkshake. I don't, they microwaved the apple. <laughs> yeah, they would fuck up that apple, too. If I'm being for real with you, they would fuck it up. Anyway, um, so, tell me, chat, how do you think you could ruin a, a milkshake? Just give me your, like, wildest guess. It, it probably won't be as wild as whatever you fucking type up, but it will be. It'll be just mid enough to be infuriating. Oh no, ice. Um, so, first of all, they didn't blend it, so they, so the ingredients, you know, like, how a milkshake typically goes is that they, like, get your milk and you get your ice cream and you blend it. That's how you make a milkshake, if you didn't know. Lemon juice, <laughs> 3.25% milk. Chunky milk. No, um. So when I took a sip, I realized that this was a, like a really oddly thin milkshake. She. This, the layers of uneven liquid sitting on top of each other. So what had happened, right, is like when I poked my straw in there, I could feel like something hard in there and when I opened it up I was greeted by freezer burned ice cream that I think what they did is they got like skim milk or something like that and like the most freezer burned ice cream that they had and like stirred it for like 2.5 seconds um, and served it to me and called it a milkshake because there was there was ice in it like crunchy ice in it were these people trying to kill me uh jury's still out on that one uh pretty sure no but you know uh did you steer did you hit their son slash cat with a car no i can't drive <laughs> I don't, I don't know, like, guys, I, I don't know if they owned a blender, which is really strange. Okay, and I, I forgot to tell you about the cheesecake, <laughs> gamer, that isn't the milkshake, that is a milk stir at best. So I, once I was done with my milk stir and my, in my burgoid, because I went, <laughs> I did not eat my entire burgoid, but I did eat my entire milk store. store. That was a mistake. I got food poisoning. Don't be like me, chat, when you are hungry. Anyway, I'm gonna draw the diagram of the cheesecake I got, chat. It was a real- <laughs> Were you brave enough to ask for dessert? Boy howdy was I- It was the first thing I ordered. Alright. I'm making the diagram here. So. Actually, that's a little too big. Okay. Jesus, you are crazy. Okay. So this is the... Fool <laughs> me one shame on you. Fool me thrice. <laughs> Hammer. Okay, so this is the... So this is the diagram. Okay. Um. So this part is the cheesecake part of the dish um and it tasted um eggy which is 
really funny since, um, cheesecakes aren't supposed to have eggs in them, chat. Considering the fact that they aren't baked. They are not baked. <laughs> when you have a cheesecake, what you do is you stir up the ingredients and then you chill it. The cheese <laughs> was going to be the craft singles. I'm, yeah, I'm almost 100% sure that the cheese that they brought out to me, the cheeseburger, was just the burgoid, but with a craft single on that. <laughs> okay, so, cheesecake, right? Real eggy. And I learned this afterwards. It's not because this thing is marketed as a cheesecake, but it's not a cheesecake. Uh, what in fact it is, is one of those pudding uh, uh, cakes that people call cheesecake when they, like, believe leave that like once you add like a little bit of milk to your pudding cake or whatever that's what you call it but yeah when I took a bite into this it didn't taste like cream cheese at all it tasted like uncooked eggs and sugar uh, okay and then uh, the next part of this lovely lovely cake diagram it cheese <laughs> I don't know. You are making me hungry, ironically enough. Rip. They are they are trying to silence me, chat. They are trying to silence me in my efforts to tell you about this awful fucking cheesecake that I had. Uh, I could go for some cake raw eggs. Oh, heck. Silly woof. Anyway, the crust of this lovely cheesecake that we've had here is what you would consider uh, the piece de resistance. Not really. Uh, nice sources. Thank you, bro. I've been working on those. Hmm, Pine Martins be like, hmm, raw eggs. Yeah. So, the crust itself was, um, cake. It was this crumbly, soggy piece of chocolate cake, or whatever, I'm pretty sure. Which is not- so it just kind of absorbs the rest of the moisture from it, that kind of thing. That would mean that one of them would be- <laughs> have been watching this dream, though. <laughs> the imposters out there chat. No. No. I think they just assumed it. Oh shit. Which of you fillers is it? Okay. Uh, n and here's the next fun piece of resistance itself. This big cube that I've neglected to mention up to this point. Um, so this is what you would consider your uh, left out in the sun uh, off-brand Cool Whip, if you know what that is. And, the, and boy howdy was it like about 90% of it it's Marho. Send them to life. <laughs> For prison for life. Chat. <laughs> no. <laughs> the girls are fighting. <laughs> Merle, what do you have to say for the allegations pressed against you? Oh my god. Please, please. <laughs>
no more VTuber guys. I, my computer does not want to deal with that right now. And, you know, whatever. Anyway, I don't want to work tomorrow. Send me to jail. For your crimes of giving me a burgoid and a milkster, your punishment is to go to work. <laughs> Bro, I am fucking sorry, though. I'm giving him a Gabe because I think it'll be fun. In theory, I only work tomorrow all week, so fingers crossed. Actually, that's pretty crazy because I'm also only working one day this week, so that'll be nice. Hopefully, it's true. The Burgoyd is definitely a violent offender charge. <laughs> the Burgoyd is such a fucking funny thing. What voice do you think that Gabe would have? like burger borg borg crazy what would you get on your burgoid chat <laughs> mm, delicious <laughs> also also what but uh, Marl, just asking. Because clearly you are. They have a Adam Stanler dialect. No! <laughs> it can't be! This... <laughs> you, you cannot make <laughs> the click star in Gabe. I will not allow it. <laughs> Any but fair answer, fair answer. Yep. I'm doing so good, guys. Um. I'm back. I'm back. True, all butts are holdable. I'm... Ugh. Oh my god, I've got tears in my eyes. Sorry, microphone, for punching you. I didn't mean it.
<laughs> Meta, don't die. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's really hard not to. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. It's, it's, it feels impossible. The challenge feels impossible sometimes to it. Super Sonic Racing. <laughs> Bro, why the fuck is this mid game have such This mid game has such good music. It's too late she's a ghost now. Me when <laughs> Me when drink water slightly wrong. Or when I talk slightly wrong or do anything slightly wrong. I remember like fucking up my ankle for an entire fucking week and it's still like bruised and it's been like two weeks. Maybe if I put Balut on my Burgoid everything will be alright. Just pluck out it out individually and eat it. Like pl pluck out the like the, the bird itself and put that on the Burgoid or like are you talking about plucking apart the Burgoid? with the balut and eating that. Cause, I mean, like, both are impractical, but, you know, you just kinda have to do it. Just pluck it out individually. <laughs> What's the worst food you've ever, <laughs> like, eaten, chat? Like, the most common thing, like, that you just fuck, like, you fucking hated. Cause, you know, Burgoid is pretty funny. Imagine eating Burgoid when Pizoid's on the menu. Yeah, that's cr like, that's... <laughs> like, Burgoid is just so mid when compared to Pizoid. <laughs> what would a Pizoid even look like? Is that... <laughs> oh, you've had Balut meta? No, I haven't. Uh, but I know what you're talking about. Um... Uh, I'm not that big of a fan of eggs or chicken, to be honest. Stand, I don't think my... I would, like, like it any better. Like that, so yeah, no. <laughs> Strawberries and cherries slash me. Only crust from center to border, so it's a big. So it's a round piece of dough that's only crust, a circle, so it's, so what, so a pezoid, right? This is a pezoid, so it's just, it's all this, and it's, it, there's nothing in the middle, it's just this, because then, it, I think that a pezoid would be fun to eat, I think. Kirby, <laughs> yeah, that's a small group of food. Strawberries and cherries. I d I like um when strawberries are cooked into certain things, but I don't like them by themselves. Same with cherries; they just have a texture to me. But I like acidity in my food, so yeah. Worst food I've ever had was European cooking white. Oh yeah, I love my white sauce and my white fish and my and my my fish and chips. <laughs> nah, for real though. <laughs> yeah, it's a small group of food. Mm -hmm. I'd say that like I found like statistically the worst food in uh England got them plain, them damn plain ass potatoes, heavily salted kale, and pork. 
literally the worst dish of all time. I don't understand how a white fish is all right. I'm not a big fan of fish, but it it was mostly just a joke. The white fish we get here. I'm sure if the British people cooked it, it would be bad. Uh, just don't put anything in front of those people. Having a hard time thinking what's the worst I've ever eaten. Let's see. I think conceptually, I think the like least appealing thing that I've ever like think like thought about is probably like what is it called? I'm not a picky eater. Uh, I am. What beans on toast? Like, why the fuck are you ruining a p perfectly good piece of bread? I think the worst possible pizza is burnt crust and bottom is super doughy below the cheese with some weak amount of sauce. Kind of sounds like my pizza order. <laughs> no. I don't like fish much, but I still eat it from time to time. Something like that, maybe? Uh, let's see. But, um, yeah. I think that just like a. Like this statistically worse pizza would be something like burnt crust so you can't enjoy the bread part of the pizza and like having the pizza be like really flavorlessly greasy like they f like put a bunch of canola oil on it for like zero reason and the cheese just tastes like nothing and there's and the sauce either t doesn't taste like anything or has way too much oregano in it. Pizza where the mushrooms get undercooked and they remain soggy and cold but the rest is somehow perfectly cooked kills the pizza. True. I- I- <laughs> Mushrooms have to be like reduced into like charred bits in order for me to like them because they're just so full of water. I like how they look, they're really super cute, like, visually, but like, like, not a big fan of when something's cold and wet on my pizza. Worst idea for stuffing inside of a pizza crust. Well, it depends on whether or not, like, the pizza is savory or not, I guess. Um. I guess, uh, like, my worst contender would be, like, fondant on, like, a traditional cheese pizza. Ah, uh, like, so you know what, like, fondant is, right? It's the stuff that's used on cakes or whatever. Like, just putting that in there. Raw white mushrooms are my favorite veggie of all time. I mean, they aren't veggies, yeah, but what do you mean, like, eating them straight up? Huh? I mean, good for you, man, but strange. Strange as hell. But like raw raw or like cooked? Why do you why do you spell why do you spell cooked like this? <laughs> yeah, no cooking, just sliced up. <laughs> For a second I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> do you even wash it? But of course you fucking wash the fucking mushrooms. What are you? An insane person? Oh, that's allowed? Just eating mushrooms straight up without cooking them? I mean, you could technically do it. Yeah. Uh, like, people do it all the time with, like, enoki mushrooms, from what I can remember. But, I'm not a big fan of how spongy mushrooms are. They, 
they're not there for me texture wise. I'm not a big fan of things that feel fibrous or spongy. Yeah, just the small round, white round buttons are great. once for all the kind that comes in cans, but nah, I know you can, I can, but they're really, really mushroom, mushy, she, easily the best mushroom raw of all time. Mushroom lore <laughs> grows by intensity. She's a nice girl. I'm sure that people don't also eat it. Yeah, most people enjoy when the mushrooms get sweat out or whatever. I enjoy mushrooms like that personally the best. Like when it's kind of like when you get your aunt, like onions all jammy. Like. For like every birthday most of my life, I just asked for sliced veggies, but mostly raw mushroom and celery. Mushroom and celery and carrots. Carrots are the only one that I like truly enjoy, but not by, but not when they're like in their original form. Fibrous stuff gives me the heebie-jeebies. I've always like I've gagged at like lettuce before, like. My mom was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? She didn't understand me. It was the tism. But, whatever. Asparagus. Actually, no, I enjoy uh, when it's cooked quite a bit. Uh, I don't like how, like, crunchy it is. Uh, like, asparagus is pretty alright. It, it's an alright vegetable. I like when um, carrots are sliced up real thin and stir-fried. Uh, like, I enjoy it in beef bagogi. But it's because it tastes like it tastes like beef. I'm also a bit I I like I, yeah um celery is way too crunchy for me. I don't I don't it's, it's it also has like the same feeling to me as like string cheese but like awful. I don't know how to describe it like past that. Oh so you eat them green? What what do you mean? the ce celery yeah my family does not chop 
the ends of asparagus well. So there's just that wood at the end. Yeah, no, we usually just, 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 just like cook it real good. But I guess it's also because my parents are like actually know how to like cook food. Trained chef dad who left me. Something like that, I don't know. Oh, you you only have eaten white asparagus. I've never actually had white asparagus. So funny little things. Yeah, it's an EU thing. I've only had asparagus green, yeah. I've like there's the option of buying it at the store, sure, but I mean I don't really engage with that type of discussion, so. <laughs> Fair, I've never had green. <laughs> the you asparagus is way better though. It's crazy. The one thing about the EU that they get right, it's the fucking asparagus, guys. Nah. I'm sure they get other things right, like gun laws and proper, like, pri prison systems. And, like, healthcare. I don't know. Never been there. That's actually lying. I've been to the Fran- I've been to France. And France sucks. <laughs> I hate France. It- Though it tastes like stuff's really good. Asparagus discourse. <laughs> Gatekeeping asparagus. Gabe, is it out- Is it for me? Out here with- the Is it for me face? Yeah. He's really gay. Good for him. White supremacy asparagus Twitter incident. Bro, who the fuck is this conversation? <laughs> Devil dice, let's go. I need everything to be shiny, even if it doesn't make sense for the textures. He is ombre sexual. <laughs> he loves his homies so much, guys. They were just really- they're just really good friends. <laughs> I can't wait for the comments on my fucking- on my fucking comment to go, wow, these ghosts- are really good friends. They're really, they're really good friends, guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what, what good friends they are. Yeah. Though if, though the other one that comes with these kinds of things is like, uh. One of them is abusing the other, which uh, isn't the case it's, uh, in this relationship. They both treat each other like e <laughs> equals. They must be roommates. It's crazy. <laughs> They're in a room together, guys. 
they're just really good. They, they're just kissing the holy night. Well, they're not in heaven. That's not a good sign. Whoa. Bro. <laughs> we don't even know if heaven or hell exists in this universe. It's just a constant state of... Well, I, I guess I'm not in hell, so I'm, like, not that bad. Oh, fun fact about uh, Gabe here, he is bisexual. So yeah, that's fun, right? I feel like I just made a swap at you. Now, here on the Telecot Choco stream. Wait, have you seen any of the speeches 
by the people where they're like, I felt X, I felt Y, I felt gay. Are you talking about the people that like mess up their speeches? Though I'm, I don't think I know what you're like specifically referring to. Maybe I've, I probably have seen it before, but I, I don't actually know what you're talking about. These hearts are so uneven. Let's go, boys. Ah, uh, there's a bunch of them, but my favorites are Fousey Tube, the FIFA president, and the New York mayor saying that sequence. So we'll have to give you that video for context, though. I'll watch it later tonight, I guess. I saw a couple of weeks ago was le le being visibility week. It must be great to be visible for the rest of the year. You can rob a bank and stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, it's nice being, like, invisible, like, basically 90% of the time. And then, like, you know, it's like a little... A little safety net, though there are now them gaydars or whatever I, I hear, so I, I don't think I'm out of the woods just yet. Yeah, most of the time I can't perceive them. <laughs> Like, you can only perceive me, like, every once a week, chat. Where do I go the other 90% of the time? No one will know. Getting awful burgoids, I guess. Semi-local <laughs> diner. It's 
see. I think, uh... I'm done. With the drawn. Wait. What is... What is lesbians? Are ghosts? What... What if lesbians are ghosts? I think is what you're trying to say. And, um... Like, that's a really rude question. And the answer is yes, obviously. <laughs> New idea. <laughs> it's just gender bent. <laughs> it's just gender bent, uh, gay bent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dylan. Yeah, wait, that's kind of funny. Let me do that. Just a little... A little thing. Just for you, chat. A little, a little second drawing for you. I'll draw the lesbian ghosts. Which are just gender bent versions. <laughs> the poltergeist appearing when boobies. <laughs> the sixth sense, but the plot twist is, is a bit different. <laughs> I see ghosts. I see dead people. Yeah, no, I. Like, I see these, like, dead women, I guess. <laughs> Are they dead? No one's sure. I have to get the height difference correctly, chat. <laughs> Cause it's nothing. My face went and go annoyed to enter the void. It's a good song. the spirits by on haunting your place by playing Pokemon XY and count encountering Diantha fucking Lamau bro no they're gonna be like real interested in that I can't have that like what the hell My face when ga <laughs> it's Gabriella. <laughs> What's a good girl named for Dylan? Guys, <laughs> I have the super secret strategy on how to lure out ghosts. <laughs> First, you get your ghost pudding. 
and then you get out your camera because ghosts really love cameras. Everyone knows this. Uh, she's way too clear coded. True. Powers won this black test. Best girl wins again. Dylan is a girl's name too. So we've got G it's Gabriella and Dylan. <laughs> Gabriella. <laughs> Give Dylan more uh, Yukiana vibes. Well, Gabe also applies too, but you know what I mean. to get that. She got the meat. The burgoyd meat. She's just what can I say? I mean, also, it's just way more fun to have, like, gender bents with, like, uh, the same body type as the original character. So, like, why would I change it, you know? Jen's a little harder to turn into a girl, but that's mostly because he's mostly obvious, like obfuscated and that kind of thing. But I feel like giving her like this sort of energy really helps with the ghost vibe. She's got long, long claws. Why are gender bends so fucking fun? I don't care if it's A to B or B to A. Ah, I love them. Do not take a bite of that ghost's <laughs> exoplasm on your teeth is very sad. 
<laughs> sour. Gabriella has high special defense and HP. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in my comment section? Bro, <laughs> oh, but yes, I... Gabriella has a cute pose. Yes. She loves her girlfriend very much. She, she asks for no pickles, kind of vibe. But yes, I, like gender bends are fun. Like the way that people interpret characters into others is really quite amazing. Huh. And like just like re like it's basically a reimagining of a character without really going that far off or whatever. So here's like my renditions. Yeah, imagine if someone did a gender bend of Vagar. Yeah, that would be crazy, guys. But it probably doesn't exist. I mean, that would be silly. Like, why would anyone do that? Imagine. Never thought of it before. I'm sure it's neat. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure maybe someone will do it one day. Mm, you know, it, it's a cute idea. Oh, this drippy ass cut's kind of cute. Your girlfriend's claws are very long and sharp, but you don't care because you're fucking gay as hell. I should... I think that we should... <laughs> I do think that we should move towards Pokemon's stat coded language for body types. High special defense and HP is a... <laughs> That girl, that girl has a higher HP pool than a blissy man. <laughs> Bro, she's not that thick. But yeah, Dylan's a really lucky girl. <laughs> Raging homosexual. <laughs> wow, this per that person is sure a fast but resistant mixed attacker. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't even. What does that even mean? <laughs> Bro, the that person's so shaped. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? 
Anyway, it's good to know that chat is uh, down bad for Gabriella. Uh, very spacey notes. Uh, I'll add that to the research pool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Dylan sure is a good spikes blocker. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I feel like Dylan's a pretty good sweeper. Uh. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know which Pokemon are good spike blockers. Anyway, like making her more wraith-like and that kind of thing. It's really fun. Also, this Gabriella is like 100% more like, is still like 100% look at my fucking beautiful GF. Spe <laughs> oh, hazard blockers are usually mons that can use rapid spin slash defog and can also check the opponent's letters. Yeah, so that they can get rid of entry hazards uh, and that kind of thing, right? This is wonderful. Why- why would- so this Dylan looks like they would be good at spinning is what you are inferring to me. Or was that just an off- like out-of-pocket comment? I'm I'm so sorry for ruining your joke. What character of yours would you best describe as spin blocker? Well, you haven't met her yet, but the person that uh, is a revenant uh, spirit that inhabits the body that they previously died from um, They would probably be a good spin, spin blocker. At work, too, the quality assurance people what, are two ladies. One is the tallest woman I've ever seen. Literally. <laughs> 140 meters. I'm not calling her a boomer, by the way. I don't... And, no... I don't know, man. Gen 1 had a lot of moves. Every time I see them walk together, I just smile and think, aren't they just marvelous? So.
It's the dead Yuri in <laughs> enjoy like character interactions but I like I have to like spend like a few minutes going oh what kind of pose would they best fit that kind of thing also what do you think of my little girl Kyle well my small woman uh, Kyle over here I think after this I'll be done. But it was a fun a fun little thing. I feel like small woman Kyle over here would be a special attacker, personally. <laughs> she looks just pissed about the general vibe. <laughs> Bro <laughs> Bro, get out of my house. <laughs> Which is the main vibe in general. <laughs> Kyle ascribes to the belief of please. <laughs> Wouldn't be me. Gay people. <laughs> I can't believe there's gay people in my house. <laughs> uh. I am... Sorry that I couldn't. I didn't get this out to you guys at that time, but I was like, I'd rather have a shower uh, and go to bed. And, you know, it, it was the right call at the time, but mm, I really did miss you guys. And I'm happy to have relayed the Burgoyd story. Uh, I hope that you. Um, enjoyed this like fun little experiment gender br bent brick the rat <laughs> oh my god yes please I really like the one that you sent me Mara maybe I'll do a little fan art of that one she's real cute anyway I'll see you guys next time hopefully this coming Thursday um bro I'm not, like kind of out there you know uh, maybe I'll do more gender bends because I think it it'll be fun oh I see a lot of like what a lot of people do uh, which I'm not like that big on is like they turn them into like just Barbie dolls or whatever but yeah I moved into a single bedroom apartment with a crowded kitchen and no washer dryer but it's inhabited by gay ghosts yeah take care take care everyone I'll see you guys next week and um, I forgot what the it's, I won't even see you guys next week, or whatever. I'll see you pretty soon, actually. Thanks for finding time to stream, Meta. Always a good time. Thank you guys for still tuning in. I, I really appreciate it. Soon, maybe we can even have things like, uh, uh, stuff for you to bet channel points on. Heart emoji. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'll be uh, posting content as usual. Uh, ciao, ciao uh, for right now. Uh, that was awful. Anyway, good night, uh, good morning, and all that in between.